can you recall a little of how life was in the West Texas Conference in terms of worship, uh, uh, fellowship, social life in the West Texas Conference? Uh, yes, it was a, a vibrant time for us, as I remember. Uh, it, at that time, we formed a close-knit communities that were interlocking that served us well. And it we allowed our culture to develop a style of worship mm -hmm. that was dynamic and it filled with uh, energetic preaching, dynamic preaching, and of course our own style of music. Yes. Uh, and I think that was a contribution to the Methodist Church that could not be replicated anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, and it came about because of the leadership Mm -hmm. uh, that we enjoyed there um, with our ministers and our bishops. I was privileged to know several of the bishops, at least five of them, as mm -hmm. I grew up okay. in the central jurisdiction, um, and they influenced a lot of my life and uh, commitment to the Christian belief through the Methodist traditions. Mm -hmm. It occurs to me that um, I grew up in the United Methodist Church, a child of the 70s and 80s, and, and sang songs in the United Methodist hymnal that were uh, African-American spirituals and the like, never really thinking where exactly they came from. Um, I mean, just assuming they'd always been a part of the United Methodist experience, but that's not true. Um, so I wonder, what were some of the most um, memorable or most important um, hymns or songs that you recall singing um, in the West Texas Conference that, that were brought to the United Methodist Church? Well, most of them were spirituals. Uh, and uh, I can remember a time when we would meet uh, as a, a, a diverse group when the churches would come together for any reason. They would always ask the black members if you would sing one of your spirituals. <laughs> and so you would swing low, sweet chariot, uh, our Lord, I want to be a Christian. Uh, but I like the ones that were the old hymns that were lined, that uh, guide me, O oh, thy great Jehovah, pilgrim through this land, this, this land. And you would have a great force. My uncle had a booming baritone voice, and he would line it, and then the church would echo it. 